Thank you for having me. Rainbow trout that are born in freshwater springs and spend their lives there stay rainbow trout. Rainbow trout that are born in freshwater mountain springs and make their way to the ocean become steelhead salmon. Didn't know that prior to last week. When I went to the Lost Coast to go camping and there was a lagoon full of about 10 mature steelhead who had swum upstream to spawn and then the waves came in and made a berm and they could not make it back out. I have some footage that I have turned into a short film that I'm about to show you. It's about 10 minutes long. Um, before I start, I'll also say that in this last year, I visited Alcatraz twice. Once um, was for the indigenous people's sunrise ceremony, and the other was to see Ai Weiwei's at large. While I was there, I brought um, an audio recorder with me, and I walked the length of one of his amazing installations um, of a large Chinese dragon kite. Uh, no video, just the audio. So that is what is playing in this video, the length of Ai Weiwei's dragon. Um, I'm exploring ideas of captivity, both very obvious confinement and perhaps the less obvious confinement and captivity of colonialism. As the film plays, I will read a mashup um, from some poetry of Bell Made of Stones. Thanks for watching. My family's story, like so many others, is made up of disparate parts. My mother is native Chamorro. My father is a Dutch-Irish Southerner. My mother was 17 when she met him, a 21-year-old senior airman enlisted in the United States Air Force. He was stationed at Anderson Air Force Base, located still just four miles from the village of Jigo. Against the urging of my white grandparents, who told my father not to get involved with an islander because she wouldn't fit in in American society back in Florida, where he planned to bring her, they were married soon after they met. My mother dropped out of school and began a new life with my father and his family in Orange Park. Four children later, they moved back to Guam because my mother was homesick. Inside me, an island. Sharp men dreams, too. Pockets for hands, feet beneath the fins, the tail, and fitted so men face outward. Black hair, liquid, unsmiling men who steer the beasts of fleet, cresting blue waves, all teeth, slicing foam. We will not escape, and sails cannot ship them. There is no room in this country for hyphenated Americanism. A hyphenated American is not an American at all. Theodore Roosevelt, Columbus Day, 1915. I was born in the summer of 1978. Raised within a Chamorro culture until I was four years old, I spoke Chamorro and English as concurrent first languages. I learned from my grandmother in Chamorro. I learned from my aunts and uncles and cousins and my mother in Chamorro. 
and then all of us, with the exception of my oldest sister, moved to a derelict farm in the Appalachian Mountains of North Carolina, and my father forbid me to speak tomorrow anymore. He thought it would prevent me from fitting in. Aga. The only corvid in Micronesia is the Marianas crow, Corvus kubari, or the aga. A small black crow with a slight greenish-black gloss on its head, back, and wing. This crow prefers native limestone for breeding, but will forage far. On Guam, it was formerly common, but since the 60s declined in numbers as 1981, 350, 1995, 40, 1999, 7, 2008, 3, 2011, 2, 2 males. The last female Aga on Guam died of kidney failure this year. Her name, Mochong. Inside me, an island. I have had my tongue cut out and then have been asked why I don't have more to say. Mochong flies to greet my ancestors, her gloss of feathers dimmed in the orange quiescence of the sun. There is no need now for preening, but she slips her beak beneath a hollowed wing and dislodges a slender plume, glides low, skimming wave foam, and plunges. An errant bullet into the lungs of the sea, the feather adrift, nestlessly. Inside me, an island. Inside me, an island. I knew a boy once who was missing an eye. The seeing one was the color of kelp, the false one, algae. He was loved by all for his marksman's skill, a flightless bird at 100 paces, square between. Though I recall most his casual use of half-breed in English class, a day when the radiators stank, hissing of piss. I was counting cardinals on the limb, enough to form a wound. Inside me, an island, a bell made of stones, one. Of course there is sagebrush and a pickup. When the wheels leave the rim, I am half full of gravity, and the sun is bent just where my face says. The tumble to ridge bottom ends in red moon drama quiet. The horizon's tongue is rust and speaks only lizard slide, mesa. The name Maria, 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 Maria full of. 